Have you ever wondered how to post an owner's withdrawal or drawings in QuickBooks Desktop the right way? Let's clear the fog and show you how it's done. Watch this video and get clarity. If it addresses your need, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Welcome once again to Computer Accountant. Hello, great people, great students, great friends. Welcome again to Computer Accountant YouTube channel. My name is Onyekachi Wozuzu, your preferred accounting software teacher, trainer, and implementer. Today, we want to look at an issue. Over my years in covering in training companies, individuals, and in implementing accounting softwares uh, for companies as well as setting it up, there's always an issue that has given a problem, that has always been a problem between the, the business owner and the accountant especially where it is not documented properly. The accountant finds himself in a certain distrust position of the problem. And that is drawings or owner's withdrawal. Now, in a business like sole proprietorship or partner partnership business, you can't stop partners, you can't stop owners from making drawings from their business. They can run out of cash at any time and fall back to their business for reinforcement. They can run out of stock at any time and fall back to their business for reinforcement or for, you know, in any certain way. Now, one thing you must know that those reinforcement they are taking away from the business, those cash, those stock they are drawing from the business is basically for their personal use. So they expect you as an accountant to put your record straight. It is not them that will tell you this is how you go, how you are going to go about it. No, they expect you as a smart accountant, as a responsible accountant, to put the record straight just in case questions will come up. And it has been a big issue that have led to distrust between the business owners, the management, and the, sometimes the account department or the accountant. And that is what I want to address today. How to capture owner's drawings, owner's withdrawal, or what we call drawings. Come with me. Let's get this done. So let's look at what is drawings. Drawings refers to a situation where a business owner takes money or asset in form of stock or fixed asset out of the business for personal use. They are taking it out of the business for personal use. Now, it is not considered an expense. Based on business entity law, drawings are not considered as expense based on business entity concept. Rather, they are seen or treated as a reduction in the owner's investment, equity, or capital. Note this, drawing is not an expense. Based on business entity law, it is seen that the owner, based on the amount or what he has, the value of what he has to, has taken a part of his investment into the business. Let me give you a thorough example. If I invested 1 million Naira to start my business, okay, in the process of the business running, I ran into some cash issues. I decided to take 200,000 from the business. Remember, it is the business money. The 1 million is a loan to the business. The 200,000 is the business money you just took in the line of operation. Now, if you have taken it for personal use, which means it's no longer coming back, Based on business entity law, what the business is now owing you is 800,000. So the 1 million you gave to the business, which is a loan, minus the 200,000 you have just taken for personal use, that means you are not paying it back. The business, your investment in the business is now worth 
800,000 and no longer 1 million. So that 200,000 becomes owner's withdrawal or drawings. In that regard, it is treated it is treated as a reduction in your investment. And once it is done perfectly like this, our financial statement remains accurate and reliable. Where the problem starts is when the accountant does not even capture it. So what it means that you have given free money to the business owner. And you have to, that is going to cause a lot of problem between you and the auditor, even between you and the business owner, when the management meeting comes and where this report is presented there. Okay, let's move in, let's dive in and get this uh, sorted out. Now, the first thing you must do as an accountant Let's assume that the money has been taken. Okay, the owner of the business has just taken 10, uh, 20,000 naira from the business and is not going to get it back. Now, the first thing you have to do after your paperwork, because I believe in paperwork, he has to sign something for me. Sometimes they do send their children, their wives, their, they do send the, the part of the uh, staff to get this money for them. No matter who you are sending, no matter who is involved, I have my paperwork. You have to sign out, sign my paper that you have taken such money on behalf of the owner or the owner himself must certainly uh, sign. Now, once the paperwork is concluded, it's showing that he has taken this money, I will come to QuickBooks, go to list, select task of account, Okay, now we don't have anything like this, so I will remember it's an equity issue, so it has to affect its capital investment negatively. So I'll click on right click, new. Okay, so I'll go to equity. So follow me, I'll click on equity, click on continue. So you have, I'm going to put the two names, so you choose the one that works for you. Uh, owners, owners with drawer slash drawings. Okay, so we are good. I'll click step and close. So, in a scenario where drawing takes place. Now, you can use two places to capture it in QuickBooks. Number one, you can use general journal entry, okay? You can use journals. So you can see where I am. You go to company menu and select make general journals entry. That's one aspect. Whichever means you use in capturing it, you arrive at the same answer. Number one is to use journal. You go to company and select make general journal entries or you go to okay come here yeah, and select make general journal entry that's number one or you go to banking and select write checks you go to banking and select write checks now why do i like using journal it's an internal issue it's an internal transaction it's an internal mechanism so journal comes handy Okay, journal comes handy for the business. So I'll go back to company menu and select make general journal entry. So this is it. Um, the system wants to assign numbers for me. Okay, you select your date. Then debit. Remember, he took 20,000 naira from us. Or let's make it 55,000 naira from us. For personal use he took it from the business for personal use so the first thing you have to do is to debit that owner's withdrawal or drawings account you created so that it will affect his equity negatively okay so he took 55,000 naira okay now this 55,000 naira was sent to his account through the bank of the business it was sent to his account from the account of the business. So it was not given to him cash. I know that there are scenarios where, where they want cash. Maybe because the problem is so severe for them, they need it cash. I, it's not all the time that business do keep cash. But I suggest that professionally should be banned. Okay? 
so that during reconciliation you can you know, marry all of this. Now, we are sending the money from our account to his own account, from our bank to his own bank. So this is it, select bank. So you can see, it's done. Then I'll give my journal a unique number, let's say 7890. Then you will make your narration, very important accountant. We are storytellers. We are people who narrate transaction or events. You must make your narration for audit, auditing purpose. Okay? So our normal English being drawings taken by the owner for personal for personal use. Okay? Good. So I have to. So that when I when I generate uh, drawings report this transaction will be that's why I'm doing the copy and paste whenever I generate a drawings report I will see this narration if I generate my cash report I will see this narration so we are good to go so you have to click close make sure that your debit and credit are balanced then save and close the effect of this journal entry is in the balance sheet. Both of them are going to have effect in the balance sheet. Good. So let's go to report and see what has happened. Then you go to company and financial, then balance sheet. You can look at paybooks in different ways. So let's use the summary. Just like the, uh, Now, let's look at this. First of all, let's go to the equity side. Let's go to the this equity side. Did you see? His capital investment has reduced by 55,000. So we are looking at 945,000 investment. You can see it here 1 million minus 55,000. Okay. It will, his investment now is 945,000. That's what is remaining. Okay. So then the next is the cash, our cash that has also reduced by 55,000. So let's go you zoom you zoom this you can see it here we, we had we earlier earlier we had a cash balance we had a cash balance of 681,937.50 now after removing the owner's drawing our cash balance is now 681,937 so this is how you get it done so that it will show in your report and start with your paperwork. Whoever will collect the money on behalf of the boss or manager must sign, must sign, must do a paperwork. And the management, but if it's the manager himself or the owner himself, he must also do a paperwork. That's how you earn your respect as an account. We are people who don't joke with paperwork and who are good in storytelling. So with this, we are good to go. So that's how you capture your owner's withdrawal of drawing. Thank you for the time. Thank you for your interest in what we are doing. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your, your like. Keep them coming. More quality videos, insightful, detailed, and direct to the point will continue to hit our page, our YouTube channel, so that you can test them. Thank you so much. This is your preferred accounting software trainer, tutor, and implementer saying bye.